So let's assume that the left one is you and the right one is me. So I am the access point and you are the station. In the four way handshake, we are going to talk or we are going to send four messages among us. So I send the first message because I am the access point. I say, I am sending my a nonce, that means I am sending my nonce, which is known as a nonce, to you. You use my nonce to calculate the PTK or pairwise transient key. I have not shown PTK because it will be confusing, but using my nonce, you calculated the PTK. Once you calculate it, you send me a message stating that I am sending my nonce, which is S nonce, to you. So now I get your nonce and I calculate the PTK for me. So by now, you know the PTK, I know the PTK. Now I send the third message. It says, hey, are you ready to install the keys? I am ready to install them. If you're ready, we will install them. If you are not ready, I will ask you again in a moment of time. Once we have installed the keys, I will generate a GTK or the group temporal key. So I send the GTK to you and then you install the GTK and then you answer me that I have installed the GTKs. Let's use them to encrypt and decrypt our messages from now on. Now this was a very good concept and now we are using this concept, the four way handshake concept and we are going to exploit one weakness that is found by attackers and crackers that are doing researches and they found one weakness of this four way handshake that is used to make up connections and that is known as a crack attack and we are going to talk about this in the next section.